from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Ah, uh, leave it to Oklahoma to have some wild weather. In fact, we ended up with just a little bit of strange stuff. Showers and storms formed last night. And then during the course of today, down around the sulfur area, we had a line of these showers just move right on through the sulfur area. It doesn't look like anything. Ended up coming up here. But uh, while it was down in sulfur, just so happened, got a picture of kind of like a lowering right along I-35. And then they followed it into a field. And we ended up with a weak vortice, and that was enough. We'll call it a weak tornado, very weak, but it was very interesting to see it. You can see it from a tr trucker's standpoint as it moved across a field. So those things can happen. Usually there won't be much damage with that. Uh, right now we're looking at our rain uh, continuing to move out of the metro area for now. It's going to come back and get us a little bit later because we have additional moisture coming in out of the south, but there should be some additional areas of rain and showers forming later tonight. Here's how it's uh, playing out right now. It's very mild across the state. 60s out west with clear skies. Clouds here with showers across areas from about Highway 75 to the east. And there's a few areas to the west of it. But what we're looking for tonight is some of those showers to flare up just right around Tulsa through early morning. You guys up north of Tulsa, Bartlesville, Caney, you have a chance for a few more showers and storms. Not what we want. Need a lot more. Not happening right now, but uh, there is a chance at least some later tonight. Then we have a little bit of clearing skies. Now, temperatures by the uh, afternoon on Thursday will generally be in the 70s. And then by the time we work our way on into Friday, it gets very interesting. We're in the 60s to 70 in the morning. A front is going to come through. Now, it looks like the front isn't going to make it till about 10 o'clock, maybe 11 o'clock. If that's the case, we'll get in the mid to upper 70s. Behind it is really, really cold air. And we'll have a chance, a little drizzle as the front comes through. And then by late afternoon, our temperatures will fall into the lower 50s and cold, cold, cold wind blowing with that. So get ready for a cold Friday night of football. And don't forget as well, over in Stillwater, it's the homecoming walk around. Of course, one of the biggest things in the entire country. And I know a lot of folks from Tulsa are going over there. I have a lot of family members that want to be over there. And you're just going to have to bundle up because it is going to be chilly. It'll be partly cloudy. We'll have a north wind of about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And temperatures will be going down in the 40s. Should not be raining. So that's the good news. Now the Tulsa run, little different story. Slight chance of showers Saturday morning. Colder, our temperatures in the upper 40s and then moving to low 50s. Usually that doesn't affect uh, runners as much. Winds are still not a major player until midday into the afternoon. They'll start to pick up and by that time the Tulsa runs over. By afternoon it is just kind of cold and rain chances will be really increasing across the area. And then a Sunday, Ah, that's cold. North winds, off and on periods of rain, heavy at times. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s. If you're in southeast Oklahoma, you have to go all the way to Idabel, and you might make it in the 60s. The rest of us, we're going to have to find us a coat, and as I said, wardrobe warning. A lot of weekend events, so we're going to have to deal with the fact that it's not going to be perfect weather. Pecan Festival in Okmulgee, Friday and Saturday. Halloween going on. Of course, we're going to be out there. Gatesway Balloon Festival, again, the uh, weather's going to have to help out. McAllister Oktoberfest, the Tulsa Run, as we mentioned. Niwala going on in Independence. Station mentioned that earlier at 9 o'clock. For Halloween, uh, we have a lot of folks out there. Ellen Crone and Aaron Reeves are going to be a Friday uh, afternoon, and uh, we are looking at temperatures falling off dramatically late afternoon. And then as we go on into the weekend, we're looking for Leanne, Dave, and Stephen in the morning, and then Tatum and Jonathan in the afternoon. And then I don't know why uh, the weather team ended up picking poorly. How did we do that? It's going to be a little bit on the cold side. Right now, we don't have any cancellations expected. Halloween still looks to be in the 40s. You have to bundle up. At least the winds will die down. Rain chances are diminishing somewhat across the area uh, as we go on into next week. But again, for tonight and tomorrow morning, best chance of rain. And again, Saturday into Sunday. And then it's pretty just doggone cold as we work away into next week. 68 at midnight, still some showers in the area. And we could get a pop-up shower, a thunderstorm toward morning. And then by the time we get to noon, we're at 72 breezy, turning out to be a really nice day. Temperatures should manage to get into the upper 70s. Our temperatures will be around 71 in the morning and 50s on Friday afternoon and then our late afternoon. There's those showers and cold weather for the weekend. I mean, really cold Sunday. Next week, some real fall weather across the area. That is your nine-day planner. We'll be right back with us. Please.